Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy, and welcome back. Today, I'm going to be following a watermelon carving video to see if I can take this watermelon and transform it into a beautiful garnished star pattern. Now, I have loved food garnishing for years and years and years. Ever since I watched those late night infomercials with garnishing kits, I have dreamed about food garnishing. I don't know what it is. I think it's something to do with the transformative factor of taking something that is very familiar, an apple, an orange, a potato, and using a gadget and your hands, usually the gadget is sharp, and transforming it into something else, a swan, a little bouncy coil, a rose, a flower, something about taking something and making it into something else using sharp knives is just fascinating. So today I'm going to be following a video on how to carve a star pattern watermelon with one knife. Simple carving garnish for beginners. Beginners, simple, yes, that's me. I even got myself a carving knife. I will also put a link in the description of where I found this. I also got myself a watermelon because we are in watermelon season, it's summer, and I'm excited to do this. Hello chicken, I have a chicken friend that's coming here to visit. Hello, I think she thinks that do you think I have watermelon for you? Not yet, I promise to share. My chooks love watermelon. Yes, don't you? Are you curious? Do you wanna see what's going on? Hello, hello, can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you? All right, you're just checking things out. All right, all right, big girl, go do your thing. Bye. So. We're gonna carve a watermelon. I'm excited to do this. It looks relatively simple. I've watched the video twice and I'm just gonna be following along to it. Sounds good, right? And I'm gonna be using this knife right here, the straight blade, because that's what's illustrated in the video. So carving fruit is a big tradition in Thailand. And some of the things that are crafted are so beautiful, impossibly complex, and it's all fruit. Amazing, amazing skill involved. I, on the other hand, <laughs> yeah, skill, yeah, we'll see. So look at this knife. Isn't that knife beautiful? I'm gonna do the beauty guru thing. Look at the blade. It, it's probably half the width of a typical paring knife. It is super thin and fine, and that's important because we're gonna do some fine cuts. And it is very sharp. So I've got a bowl that I'm resting my watermelon in, and I've already washed my watermelon off. So in the video, they use a little special tool to make a perfect circle. I don't have that tool, but I do have this. And this is a piping tip for piping frosting. And I'm gonna use that to make my circle. I'm gonna scratch that into the surface. I've scored my circle. Now I'm gonna take my knife and go around the circle. Three quarters of an inch. I'm hoping that the neighbor's gardeners don't show up while I'm doing this or any construction starts to happen. If that does happen, I'll have to move locations, which will be unfortunate, but I really wanted to be outside. Hello, my chicken is back. Okay, so after we have done the circle and you plunge down and you make a V cut. So now we're gonna make a, hi chicken, I'm concentrating. Yeah, I know. Okay, V cut right here. Ooh, this nice works beautifully. So I've got a V-cut there, and then I'm gonna remove that. So in the video, it just pops right out. Let's see if it pops right out for me. So we gotta make sure the two cuts match, and then you just pop it out. Then you just pop it out. Then you just pop it out. Okay, I think I need to go around my circle a little bit more. Pop it just out. Hmm. I mean my, okay, there, there. First cut. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna turn it 180 degrees and do a cut on the opposite side. Cut right there. So I think a lot of this is about, somewhat about precision and it's also about getting the right angle on your cuts, which I'm gonna have to figure out because I've never done this before. Okay, Ugh. Okay, second cut. Now, third cut, 
and fourth cut are going to be opposite here and here. This isn't as easy, I have to say, as they illustrate it, but that person is a professional or at least a person that's done it many times. And now I'm going to do the opposite one right here. I'm trying to make the triangles uniform in size. Okay, so I've got my four triangles. So now I'm going to go in between these triangles and make a triangle that's about the same. Okay, there we go. And then this one here. Oops, that one's a little big. <laughs> oh boy, just keep going. I've got a star pattern, awesome. Okay, next step, oh, they're going so fast. Okay, okay. Now that I've got my star, initial star pattern, I'm gonna go around the entire perimeter, very, very close to this edge, like that, and like that all the way around the entire star. I have to say these knives work beautifully. I don't think I'd try this with a regular paring knife because the work is so detailed and fine. The next one I want to attempt is the apple swan. I remember seeing that on an infomercial for a garnish kit years ago. I actually have the garnish kit. I just haven't done the apple. Okay, now, Okay, this and make this into like a rhombus shape. You go from here and then you go to here. And then this is supposed to come out. Ah, I hope it comes out. Hi, chicken's back. Okay, this is not coming out because I didn't, I don't think I made these cuts deep enough. Here, would you like some watermelon? Have some watermelon, Ryan. You like the sweet parts, just like my kids. I know, chicken. I know. So this isn't popping out, so I don't think I made this cut deep enough. I know. Hi, chicken. Hi. This is a beginner pattern. What do you want? I'm having a hard time getting this piece to dislodge. Bye. Go find your sisters. Okay. I really want this piece to come out, but it's not coming out. Oh, come on. In the video, they make it look so easy. Okay. I think I got it. <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, that looks like it's a little bit too deep, <laughs> but I did it. Okay, so the next one, same thing. And then you cut it like this, same thing. Top, and then, and the bottom here. And I'm having a hard time dislodging the piece. Huh. You're not supposed to have to slice it like eight times to get the piece to come out. But I've never done this before. <laughs> it shows, doesn't it? Wow. There we go. Okay, so this is happening. It's just um, happening very slowly. So we'll continue doing this. Make this cut this way. Make this cut. I think I just need to make my cut shallower so that they're not so deeply connected inside the pumpkin. Pumpkin, I'm calling this a pumpkin now. I do have a giant pumpkin that I am growing, which I'm quite excited about. Okay. But this is not a pumpkin that I'm carving here. This is a watermelon. So basically, we're gonna continue doing this all the way until we're finished. And at this rate, it's gonna take me like four hours. Awesome. That's not really awesome. That's called sarcasm. Okay, so that broke a little bit, but I think it's all right. I'm sorry this is so painful, gosh. I'd rather it be me than you, for sure. This is a pump pumpkin. Why do I keep saying pumpkin? This is obviously a watermelon. So this watermelon tutorial, this watermelon carving tutorial does not 
take four minutes in actuality. And I mean, you know that when you see this, but then when you actually do it, you really know that. So just carve yourself out, carve yourself out, you know, a couple hours, because that's what's gonna take, because unless you're better than me, which is very likely. I wish these pieces would come out cleaner though. Like in the video, they're just like pop, pop. Ah, uh, yeah, kind of like that. So mine's looking more like a flower than a star, but it's coming along. All right. Okay, feeling better about this. We're just gonna continue with what we just did. We're gonna trace around this entire star and then cut out more of these funny kind of rhombuses. So, kind of like a Superman logo, if you know what I mean. Is my chicken coming back? She's just, she smells watermelon. She's like, did you know chickens love watermelon? At least my chickens love watermelon. So we always bring our rinds out for them to nibble on. They love it. I've noticed though it does make their poops kind of runny though. I mean TMI, but I mean, maybe you want to know that if you have chickens and you want to feed them watermelon. Oh, my chicken's back. Okay, there's a big piece. She's a little broody, that's why she's clucking. We're just gonna continue all the way around. See, I think that's another reason why to try to do this is as many few cuts as possible. There's less potential breaking. Keep going. Keep smiling, keep shining bright. That's my motto these days. Hi, you're back? Would you like some watermelon? No, you want the inside, huh? Okay, I know, I'm not done yet. I'm, I know, I know. The red stuff will come. It's not ready yet. We're just like my kids. They're not, it's not ready yet. Got to do the project first, and then I'll share it with you. Thanks. I was working at a waitress at a cocktail bar. That much is true. I can hear that in the distance. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is so painful. Isn't this how it always goes? They make it look so easy in the video. You're like, I could totally do that. I could do that. And then you try and you're like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Three rounds of triangles or petals. I think one more layer and then I'm gonna call it finished. We did it, my lovelies, we did it. There it is, the star watermelon. I did it, and I'm so, so pleased. Is it perfect? Far from it. But is it beautiful? Absolutely. Despite all my grumblings, this is actually not that hard to do. This took me 45 minutes to cut. So it did take a while, but I imagine with some practice, it would take a lot less time. It is absolutely beautiful. I think the results are stunning. So there you have it. That's how you carve a beautiful star pattern into a watermelon. You just need a good watermelon, sharp knife, sharp pointy knife, a little YouTube tutorial, some time, good amount of patience, some chickens to keep you company. You actually don't need the chickens, but they're nice. 
All right, my beautiful lovelies, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Let me know down in the comments if there are any other videos you'd like me to test out, try, taste. I'm all ears, love hearing from you. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye. Wow. <sighs>